Hello, LB parents. This is Coach John here, and I'm going to go through PSAE paper two from two o two two question sixteen. Okay, so first of all, I think we go line by line, and and the reason is because uh, a lot of times when a kid sees so many words and feet and this figure, some of them may wonder like where to, to where do we start. Yeah, so should we like go through like line by line so that we can just zoom in and do it in an organized way okay so first of all let's read okay so we have the area which is uh 876 meters square is divided into three rectangular fields of equal width okay what this mean is that for the fact that it's equal that means uh if you want to put in this is one u this is one u this is one u and in fact to find one u is actually 36 divided by three, which is 12 meters. Yeah, so again, this is what we can do as how we process the information. Yeah, so moving on, we can, we can see that the fields are fenced using 177 meters of fencing indicated by the dots. Yeah, so find the length of AB. Okay, so with this, since it's talking about parameter, we want to make sure that we deduct all the um or minus off all the given information. And what I miss out is actually 27 meters. Okay. So okay, so first of all, what I'm doing is for children who need a bit more time to process. So first of all, we have a total of 177 meters minusing here, which is 36 meters. At the same time, these three lines add up to become the six meters as well. So let's do step by step. So in part A, we have 177 minus of 36 one time, which is over here, and minus, minus 36 one time here as well. Okay. Okay. Then next, what else do we minus off? We also minus off this part as well which is 27 meters, okay, minus of 27 meters. And what else do we do? Okay, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, this is also using the method called the, the, the match stick method, all right? So what do we do here is we also minus of another 27 meters as well, okay? So which is also over here. Can you see over here? Okay, so we minus another 27 meters as well. Okay, so now what we have here is moving us towards what we want to find, which is AB over here. And can you see that this AB is actually equals to this as well? So we just find the answer and make sure that you divide by two, okay? So what we have here is 51 divided by two, and we have 25.5 meter. All right, so that's it for part A. So if you're teaching your kid and let's say your kid finds it hard to visualize, you can use colors like this and it's actually quite easy to, to uh, see. And then you actually do like a canceling off of the colors, okay? So moving on to part B, find the parameter of the plot of land. Okay, so what we have here is actually um, we have used one hundred seventy-seven already, right? So this one is really done. Um, and remember, the functions of all the numbers in the question actually helps you to move you towards the answer. So let's ask ourselves: so um, what haven't we used yet? And that's is the meter square. Okay, let me write again. Yeah. So in this case, we have meter square, which also tells us that hey, actually we should be looking at area, and the next step should be area. So we have 12 and 12 and and 12. Okay, so these are 12 and then we have 25.5. And then to make it easier for us to, to label and also to have clearer working steps for the marker to mark, we can label S, A, B, C. Okay, so for areas, for area A, okay, we have, 25.5 times 12. 
and that is equals to 306 meter square. Okay, then for area C, we have 27 times 12, which is equals to 324 meters square. And given that we have the total area, we can now find area B, which is 876 minus of 306 and minus of 324, okay? And that is your area B, and that is a total of 246 meters square. All right. Okay, so now how does it actually help us to move to us towards the answer, which is to find the parameter of the plot of land? Yeah, so what is the parameter of plot of land? Let's get things into context. We have this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so it's like the um orange outline. Yeah, which also means that we have to move on, okay? Yeah, so now, how do we actually find the length of B? Okay, since we have the breadth of B, we to find the length of B, we have 246 divided by 12, okay, which is 20.5 meters square. Oh, um, sorry, meter. Yeah, this happens when I get too excited. Okay, so with this, what do I do next? Okay, so right now, since this is the length of the fence that is used up, which also covers this part and this part as well. Can you see the cross? Yeah. So do you agree that to find the orange outline, we just need to take 177 and minus of the two lines of crosses, which is actually two length of section B or area B, all right? So the parameter is actually 177, which is the outline the th three sections and minus of the two lines of crosses. Okay, so we minus off here, which is the length of B one time, and then make sure that you times two because you want to minus off two rows of length of B, yeah? And it'll give you the answer, which is 136 meter as the final answer. Okay, and that's it. And that's it. So um, I hope that you get something out from this, this explanation. And then if you find that someone else can actually benefit from this video, to forward to him or her so that we can actually help more children to score well in PSLE math. See you.